Hey Bobbers, it's me today. This is the second episode of Nerf. And today, this episode is about nerfing TNT tag. Because I have kind of a lot to say about TNT tag, I'm not gonna lie. Um, so without further ado, if you can enjoy this video, hit the like button and subscribe. And let's just get right into it. So, um, TNT tag, if you don't know the game where you are someone that's trying to escape people who have TNT in their head. And if they tag you, then you get the TNT, but there's a timer, the timer runs down, you blow up and die, if you don't give someone TNT, and it all goes down to the last two people, and so on and so forth, you get the idea, it's tag, but it's like a deadlier version of it, so, basically, my problem with it is because of the, the fast pace, now, I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but the whole fast pace nature of the game is kind of unfair, if you're not skilled enough, because you have speed 2. You know, if you have the TNT, you have speed 3. Now, why do I say this when it's about the fast pace of the game itself? Well, because everyone is so fast and quick that you cannot keep up half the time. And that goes for the e-girls in this game. Now, the e-girls, they are probably the worst thing ever in TNT tag. If any e-girls are watching this, I'm half sorry. You deserve it. Stop. Jitter clicking, stop using Quake Pro, just stop. It's not fair to everyone else. But you may say, is it just a me thing? Because I may be the only person that doesn't use Quake Pro and, you know, Optifine and, you know, using third party clients to play a game that shouldn't require it. But, you know, a lot of e girls and people do that. Well, mostly e girls, I'm not saying anyone else, because there are so many e girls in TNT that I count, there's like over 10. Like, even, like, no, over 15, actually. Over 15. The reason why I say over 10 is because that's like a, a, you know, an off day. Most of the time, actually one game it was 10, over 10. All the time it's over 15. And it's like, well, why do we go to play TNT? Like, I don't know. Is there some sort of like addiction to it? Because I cannot see, like I don't see the appeal of actually playing it all day for hours and hours and hours. I only play it for about like, you know, an hour to a half hour. Just like a time waster. Because I see TNT tag is just a, uh, you know, just a, a thing you do while I'm waiting, you know like for 20 minutes I guess we play it something like that but other people like I'm gonna assume a lot of people play for hours and hours and hours I don't see the appeal it's just a rage inducing game because um whenever you fight someone you're gonna get hacked up people have kill or well actually reach no they don't have kill or what's the point of kill or in TT tag <laughs> I mean reach they, everyone has reach and you may say speed gives you reach which I say nerf it why why isn't it just it could be as small as just making it so that people have speed 1 and the people who have the TNT have speed 2. It will reduce the reach a little less. But the thing is, in Minecraft, there's Quake Pro, and I mentioned Quake Pro a minute ago. Quake Pro is a setting that you can have under FOV, or your field of vision, which increases the view of what you can see. Now the reason, now that's kind of unfair in general because, you know, one, it looks ugly. You put it all the way to Quake Pro, and speed 3, it looks disgusting. I don't know why anyone would do it, but the only reason why anyone would do it is because it gives you reach. So you have speed 3, which already gives you reach, that's just in Minecraft, speed gives you reach. Uh, and you have Quake Pro, which also gives you reach. So that means you you can't fight e-girls, because they probably have Quake Pro on, they probably have speed 3 on if they have TNT, and they throw you across the map, like they literally yeet you across the map, and there's nothing to do about it. There is nothing. The only thing I've seen that I can actually defend myself with is just going on a wall, staying in the corner of a wall, and just fighting for your life, spam clicking the mouse to just, like, you know, free yourself. Hopefully they'll stop attacking you with the TNT and they'll go to someone else. I get complaints about that, like, I have pros and egos, like, stop doing it. Well, not egos, but pros. Talk at all, they do not give a crap about you, they don't even think you exist. You, they see you as a target to kill. <laughs> they don't care about their other eagles. That's that's kind of racist. You know, you don't go for eagles, but you go for me because I'm not an e-girl skin. Like, if I, if I were to get an e-girl or e-boy skin, well, they go after me. I wouldn't. I'm not going to do it. Because I would, you know, burn my eyes out with bleach. Because, you know, e-girl and e-boy skins look disgusting. But, you know, that's my opinion. Oh, God. They're going to... They're, they're, if a lot of e-girls see this, they're going to be very mad. I'm sorry. Your skins look fine. You're, um... Beautiful. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> so another thing I want to talk about is the toxicity. 
this game is very toxic. In the gameplay, hopefully I'm showing, you know, toxicity. You know, something like, and when I get angry, I get ragey a lot, but the, uh, the other end of it is <laughs> really bad. You know, there's, even when I'm not angry, I'm just playing. Um, there's people that are angry, they're, they get pissed off. Because the game is unfair. This game should be fair, and I remember having a discussion with someone saying the game can't be fair, but it can be. Well, the person said that, you know, video games shouldn't be fair, but they should be. You know, Team T-Tag should be fair. And in general, every game should be fair. It should be balanced, you know, but they, that's their, their title to their opinion, even though it's kind of messed up. Because if something is, you know, overpowered, and, you, and something that you're using isn't overpowered, or the same level of it, then what's the point of using that then if the other thing's most powerful? Like, like when, in any game, if you were to use something that's, you know, underpowered to something that is overpowered, you're not going to use it then. That's the same thing with Team T-Tag. Like, what's the point of being on any other FOV or any, like other client, if like the best opt- if the best Optifine gives you the best reach, you're gonna use the best Optifine client, you're gonna use the best SO FOV, and that's the thing, there's no difference, you're always gonna fight someone who is just gonna yeet you off the map, and you're gonna fly halfway across the map, that's what I mean, and people get toxic about that, including myself, and, you know, e-girl, they roast me, and I don't get affected by it, cause, you know, someone called me bald, <laughs> like, I have a full set of hair, thank you very much, and I don't know where you're getting that these lies from? Someone legitimately said I was bald? Um, that's a big fat lie there. He doesn't watch my YouTube channel then, because I'm pretty sure I have a full set of hair. This, this isn't a wig. Like, I'm pretty sure this isn't a wig. Like, I'm pulling on my hair right now. It's not a wig. I don't know how this is a wig. It'll look like a fake wig, but, you know. You know, people, people have their imaginations, alright? And that just leads to any of other roasts that you know, because e-girls are defending the other e-girls, and I call them out for hacks, and they should turn off whatever client they're using, because, you know, I don't want to get them banned. Well, I don't want to see them being banned, that's the thing. I'm someone that doesn't want to see someone getting banned, because, you know, I play the pit, I play a lot of games where, you know, the Quake Pro and, you know, Optifine clients are used a lot. You know, everyone in the pit uses Reach, and you see a lot of people get banned on the pit, mostly because either they're legitimately hacking, or they're actually using you know, uh, uh, reach, and I'm not, that, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna talk about the pit in another video, I don't know when, but focusing back to Team T tag, you, you see that a lot, like, I see people being banned sometimes, not all the time, because the games go by so fast, um, you know, you die very quickly, you know, you don't really see many people getting banned, but sometimes I do, and, um, I don't want to see people getting banned, I don't want mods coming in, you know, high pixel mods coming in, the game and banning, you know, people, even though they probably won't, because I'm pretty sure, I'm like 80% sure that mods and eagles have, like, some sort of, like, relationship with one another, you know, they're, they're tight, is that the right word to say it, they're friends, which, I mean, for the most part, they could get me banned, but, you know, I don't care, <laughs> because, I mean, I don't think me calling out their hack clients is against the rules, now, I don't know much about PvP, I'm just gonna say that much, there are going to be so many things in Minecraft that I just don't know about when it comes to combat. I just figured out FOV. I just figured out- I, 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 did, I had no idea what Quake Pro even was until like a month or two ago. So, that's something I just don't know. There's a reason why I hate- there's, re there's a reason why I hate PvP in Minecraft and I never knew why. And this game showed me why I hate PvP in Minecraft. It's so unfair and unbalanced, yet I'm glad Mojang's trying to fix that. I've heard they're gonna, they're like, reworking the combat system so that you don't get, like, overreach. I'm gonna be glad if I pick some moves like 1.16, 1.17, whatever that's gonna happen. When Mojang's ever gonna do that PvP update, I'm glad they're gonna do it because it's not fair to spam click, it's not fair to have reach. The spam clicking is another thing where you just keep, you know, you just get spam clicked and you get yeeted, that's how it works with the reach. And that's pretty much it. I, I just, I, 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 stop playing the game. The footage that you're seeing is from like weeks ago for another video that I've done. So I'm done with Team T Tag. I'm probably not play I haven't played it in like a couple days now or like a week. I just can't play it. It's just unbearable. It's not fun to just lose and get, you know, reach kill lord off a ledge. You know, it's just not fun. I mean I'll probably make videos on it still, but not that many. There's nothing to do in Team T Tag. I'm not, I'm not eager, I don't have a hack client, I don't have an Optifine client on. 
I don't have, you know, Quake Pro on. I'm, I'm not, I'm not, I, I'm a YouTuber. I gotta, like, have it, you know, make the footage that I'm using looks good. It's, it's just some blurry mess. So, yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, hit the like button, subscribe. I'm gonna go now because, um, honestly, talking about this is making me mad, honestly. So, I'm gonna go now. So, goodbye. Yeah, I confess, Father, I confess. Cause I've been living wrong, I know I've been blessed